Corey, as you can see behind me, traffic moving once again along First Avenue, although two lanes do remain closed tonight. Now, this was shut down most of the day as firefighters worked for hours trying to put out the blaze. And I want to show you why it was so difficult for them. The building we're talking about is almost directly in the middle of First Avenue between 11th and 12th Streets here. And since the fire was in the rear, it made it very difficult to access. Throw in some sturdy old construction, and that posed its own challenges. We spoke to several people this morning who said they were just lucky to get out alive. The moment that I woke up and I saw the billowing of the smoke in our kitchen and the very first thing I could think and do to do was to evacuate with my child. I said, get out. Let's get out. Carol Day says she was sleeping inside her apartment when her daughter shook her awake Wednesday morning. Just before 2 a.m., the raging fire from the building next door filled her hallways with smoke. Once they were safely outside, neighbors say they did a head count to make sure all people and pets were accounted for. We are a family and we are New York and this is what we do. Officials say the fire started inside a sushi restaurant on the ground floor and spread throughout the building. Because of the construction, firefighters struggled to get to the flames. Eventually, they were forced to evacuate because of structural concerns with the building. There's seven ceilings underneath this roof. A lot of this setback has collapsed. We can't get in there and it's just a long involved operation. More than 12 hours later, firefighters were still battling the blaze. The six alarm fire shut down First Avenue and forced two nearby schools to cancel classes for the day. 14 people, including three civilians, suffered minor injuries, but all are expected to be okay. But homes and businesses were destroyed by the blaze. Business owner Rena Muhammad owns the hair salon in the building next door to where the fire started. Eight years ago, her previous business was also destroyed by a fire just a few blocks away. Between smoke and water damage, she wasn't sure there'd be anything to salvage this time around either. It's like I'm losing everything again and I have to start again. It's tiring. It's, it's really hard for me to take in. And the Red Cross also helping more than a dozen people who need a place to stay tonight because of this fire. No word yet on when they'll be allowed back into their apartments and the cause of the fire remains under investigation. Reporting live tonight from the East Village, Joe Masiri, PIX11 News.